So let's explore using lookups within Excel. Firstly, we'll look at the V lookup, where the V stands for vertical. The syntax for the V lookup is equals V lookup, open brackets, criteria, comma, lookup table, comma, column to return, comma, true or false, which is great until you figure out what that means. Four parts of our V lookup require a criteria. So this is part A. Our criteria is going to be a cell reference when we reach Excel. For the moment, our criteria is this person here, person with a blue jacket on. We want to take our criteria and look it up in the lookup table. So the lookup table is referred to in part two of the formula. Our lookup table in Excel can exist in the same sheet or the same workbook or a different workbook. It could even be a named cell reference. And ideally, if you start to use named cell references within your VLOOKUPs, they become shorter functions. But in our little example here, the lookup table is over here on the right. So we take our criteria across to the lookup table and we look down the first column and it's always down the first column until we find the criteria, which is here. Once we've found the criteria, we then have to decide which of these related values we return. And that's decided by the column to return. Now, each of your columns in a lookup table are internally numbered as one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. This has no reference at all to the columns that this table might fall in. So this table might actually fall in column B, C, D, and E, but they would still be one, two, three, four within the lookup table. You always look up in column one. So our criteria, which is this guy in the bluey green jacket, we bring that across to column one and we find a match. We then run across to the column reference that we're trying to find the value for. So here we might have a four. So we're looking for column four. So we go across that same row, find column four, and this becomes the value that we then return back to the cell that made the lookup. Now the little section at the end, true or false, decides whether there must be an exact match down this list. Using false, there has to be a guy in a blue jacket down this list, just there, a little bluey green jacket. This guy has to exist exactly in this list. He can't have a slightly different color jacket. He can't have a slightly different color tie. He can't have different hair. It must be an exact match. If, however, we'd said true, then Excel would have looked for the nearest match and then done a lookup. So his jacket could have been slightly different color. His tie could have been a slightly different color and we would have gone for the nearest match. That's quite useful if you're doing lookups on numeric values, obviously not on greeny blue jackets. So this is the syntax for our lookup. Equals the lookup criteria, which could be a static value that you type into the formula, or it could be referring to a cell, comma, the address of the lookup table, which could be the same sheet, a different sheet, a named cell reference, comma, the column within the table structure that you would like to find the value for, so that's either a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, depending on how many columns are in your lookup table. And then either a true or a false at the end. False indicating it must be an exact match for the criteria. True indicating that it will be a close match to the criteria. Usually used when looking for sorted data in a lookup, but we'll see how that works when we look at some real examples. So as long as you get the syntax, we can now move forward and look at this within an Excel scenario.